Hello everybody, I hope that you are good. I'm quite happy to be honest because last night, right before going to bed, I saw that yesterday's projection got completed. So that was such a good feeling, okay, to see how your trade closes right before bed. You cannot ask for more than that to be honest because you don't have to, you know, wake up and check uh, how the trade went, if your stop loss got hit or if you are in profit or if you close your position with your take profit, no, to just go to bed with the position closed. It's absolutely perfect. So anyway, uh, yesterday we saw this projection completed and it was a push up above the 50 MA, retraced as support. We had here two candles testing as support. You can see the rejection with those wicks. So that's you know pretty much everything you want to see. Two candles, perfect. You cannot ask for more. And then the continuation to the next liquidity pool, okay? Then this was right at the start of the Asian session in the first hour, you guys can see. Uh, well, in the first two hours. And um, then we had a rejection, okay? Well, let me remove this. But I think what they did here, okay, with this retrace was to fill some of this imbalance, some of this large green candle. But I think that, well, I'm telling you again, I don't see any reason why there, there is not going to be continuation. In fact, well, I think we have a lot of lines here. Let me remove some because I'm going crazy here, okay? I like my charts nice and clean, you know me. So, you know, we went into this liquidity pool. Of course, the liquidity pool is not finished. This zone is not fully taken yet. You can see that we still have 29,650 could be taken or even 30,350. So I think that we are not finished in this zone. And also, they left an imbalance yesterday. You can see in the one hour time frame this long week. Okay, that goes from 29,326 all the way to 29,530. And if we go to the 15 minutes time frame, it's even longer. Check this out, okay? So we're going to expect the price comes today to fill this week. So we're going to, again, favor long positions, okay? That's... You know, it's not financial advice. That's how I'm reading the market. Um, we'll see if, if it happens or not. But but yes, I'm, I'm expecting that we come back to this week today. Um, let me see where we are. Well, it's holding the, the 50 MA in the 15 minutes time frame, which is a, 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 a good sign, to be honest. And in the one hour time frame, you know, we tested here as support. This must have been also the four hours time frame that we saw yesterday. This is when we enter the trade in this one here also check this week how they get filled okay before pushing higher and i like to say that because it's basically telling me that they are not leaving big imbalances behind so then i can trust this move so that's basically another confluence another reason why i think that we are not finished in this zone and we might continue going higher i think at least today we could see 29,500. all right but it's very likely that we see that we also see even the whole liquidity pool finished. Now, you have to keep in mind that today is Friday. We have the weekend, you know, in front of us. So I'm not expecting, you know, that the push continues over the weekend like this. I'm not going to tell you that that's going to happen because I will be lying to you. I don't think that's going to happen. Then it might happen and that may be wrong now, but it usually happens. Usually what you're going to see during the weekend is a range, okay? You're gonna see something like this. And it's true, you're gonna see something like this. Then on Monday, you might see some kind of false move, and then during the week, you might see the rest of the move. I mean, we see that pretty much every single week. Check this out. Uh, this is the weekend range here, I would say. No, weekend range, where is the weekend range? One hour time frame. Let me try to find it. Uh, Saturday and Sunday. So I would say, that from here all right this was your weekend range then we had well you know it was the weekly the weekly candle usual on sunday but it was also the monthly candle so then you see some kind of volatility in sunday evening okay that's that's completely normal but then you see you, know, you have the weekend range then you have the false move on monday and then the rest of the week you're going to the opposite direction, okay? And that's something that we see quite often, to be honest, in this game. And I call it a game. Obviously, it's not a game. It's a lot more than a game. It's, you know, my job. But um, any game has rules, 
and it has you know it moves in a certain way uh if you watch barcelona play and you know the way they're gonna play the same as if i watch the bitcoin chart i try to understand how it's going to move let me check the SP chart because it's really the only thing that makes me worried in the context that if it makes a move maybe bitcoin follows okay and you can see that we're in a range we've had several deviations above and below a lot of deviations last night we had one then we pumped because uh, after the market closed we had apple's earnings reports and they were better than expected as you know guys apple is the biggest stock in the s p so if apple is pumping then the s p in theory should be you know um influenced by it and maybe continue that pump now today we have some important data coming out and it's the non-farm payrolls okay it, it's a, basically about the labor market and that's going to be in 15 minutes uh, i just posted on twitter a warning that you know don't trade until until then you know close all your trades and then after that let's see how the results are let's see how the market reacts and then we can trade again we can then go back to bitcoin um let's go back to bitcoin a second bitcoin no, i didn't do it well here this one go to the one hour time frame and let's see how the s p reacts probably bitcoin should follow because imagine if you for example see you know quite uh, bad results uh, for the market then maybe you can see bitcoin completing the move of this liquidity pool here and then that will be a better entry point than now okay to this new liquidity well to this week and the liquidity pool anyway guys i want to keep it nice and short so i hope that you enjoyed the update Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.